G'day guys, Alex Ryan here. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about uh, what do you need to do in terms of if you're selling in uh, Amazon USA and you're based in Australia or New Zealand, do you need to have a USA company? Do you need to even have a USA bank account? So we're gonna be discussing that and more in this video. So stay with me, we'll be back in a second. Welcome guys, it's good to have you here. So, do you need a, a USA bank account? The answer is no, you don't, right? Do you need really even in a company? You don't need really even need a, an Amazon USA company either, right? People who say you do, they tend to want to overcomplicate things. It's not really necessary at all. But I will say this, okay? Sometimes because of the currency is going up, it's going down, it's you know it's back, it's forward. Um, sometimes if you're getting paid in US dollars, let's say for example you're based here in Australia or New Zealand, you're getting paid, um, you're getting paid every fortnight by Amazon USA and it goes to your bank account, you actually have no choice when you can withdraw your money out from Amazon. They just pay you every two weeks, right? So what's gonna happen is, let's say for exchange, let's say just say for, for uh, example, one day the exchange rate is terrible, like absolutely terrible. Let's say for example, the, ex the exchange rate is like shoddy, right, that one day. And you're, you're paid that day. Then guess what guys, you're gonna be paid a shoddy exchange rate. now. If you had a good day, then obviously it'd be the exact reverse, right? You'd be, you'd be paid quite well. But you actually do, there's actually one thing you can op, um, have is, is what we call an intermediary company, all right? So there's a lot of them out there, there's HiFX, there's one that we call uh, Payoneer, you know, there's quite a few out there and we talk more about it at, uh, at our, you know, some of our events and stuff and about which one's the pros and cons of each. But it's sometimes it's good to have that because they, you actually have a choice. So what will happen is Amazon will pay this company and the company holds the money for you, right, in that currency and you can withdraw it any way you like and any time that you like it. So you can sort of wait till the currency gets better and you can sort of withdraw money, you can wait till the currency gets, you know, basically draw it out whenever you want the money to, to hit your Australian bank account, all right? So just keep that in mind, guys. There are companies out there that do that stuff for you and, you know, they do make your life a little bit easier having those companies. And I remember at a time where I was basically accepting US dollars, there was, there was times where I was doing up to 10, 15, or even 25K a week in USD. And if I was withdrawing it on the uh, like Monday morning, as opposed to Monday afternoon, the exchange rate would fluctuate that much. And this is, a, you know, this is basically when the exchange rate was like 60, 69.69. Um, it would actually mean uh, like maybe even a thousand bucks difference and or loss or profit, right? So sometimes it's actually good to have one of these intermediary companies in place to hold your money. So you guys can do your own research. Um, if you wanna find out more information, join uh, one of our workshops that we run here in Australia. I would love to see you there. My name is Alex Ryan, thanks for joining me guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day, bye bye for now.